everyone, it's me again. Um, it's January 24th, 2013, and I am 120.4 today. It's VLCD number 113. 113, and I'm 120.4. Now, um, I know what you guys are thinking. You're thinking, girl, you are crazy. You have been like 123, between 123 and 120.4, like for months. Why are you still on VLCD? Well, I would be inclined to think the same thing. However, this is not my first rodeo. And um, this morning I decided to go into my um, old journal of my extended round back in 2010. And I did some comparisons to see what was going on. And it's very interesting because um, I actually started uh, at the same time of year. Uh, so I pretty much it's, it's comparison for you know, day for day almost like three days away uh, as far as the time of year and um, so I wrote down a few of the comparisons and I know that it's not fun uh, to hear about dates and um, and stats and stuff but I did want to share this because I know that there are um, some of you out there that are pro about to do an extended round for the first time uh, a couple that I know off the bat are Kim K. Karika and uh, also um, uh, HCG for me 2010. I know you guys are teaming up and doing this. And I believe um, Hebby Dobby is doing her own, uh, her own version of Extended Round. And I'm sure there will be uh, a few others that are joining on or maybe some that just aren't vlogging. So I just wanted to share this so you guys would know. Um, again, I don't, uh, I, I, I'm not suggesting that anybody should do an extended round or that, um, or that, you know, what, what I've done would work for somebody else by any means, but I know how important it is to be able to get information uh, and it's it's just even if it's not information that's necessarily directly um, linked to your particular experience it just it helps you along in the journey so I thought I would share anyways uh, back in 2010 um, and I, I'm not gonna it's not comparing that many days just you know if you don't want to hear it click me off uh, back in 2010, on VLCD number 95, I was 125.2. Now, this this year, three years later, um, on VLCD number 95, I was 123.6. That's, that's not a big difference. Um, and then on January 16th, 2010, uh, VLCD number 102, I was 122.4. And this year, January 13th, 2013, VLCD 102, I was 121.4. That's only a couple of pound difference. Now, um, the last date, I'll just give you the last date, which is today. Um, January 27th, um, in 2013, January 27th, VLCD number 13, I was 119.4, and this year, three years later, VLCD number 113, on January 24th, so it's just a couple of days difference, uh, I'm 120.4. That's exactly one pound, exactly. Now, let me remind you, back in 2010, uh, it, on that specific date um, that I had weighed 119.4 on VLCD number 13, I was just coming out of surgery and um, major surgery, and so I had a tremendous amount of inflammation. So I didn't even know if that was my true weight, and I was also um, I, I also wasn't able to use my own scale, and um, you know, so I just wasn't sure. 
but I had looked in all of those days uh, in, in, in that extended round and I was a slow loser just like I am this time and there would be weeks where I just, you know, it, it would take me sometimes a week just to lose point two. And I know that you could think, well, you know, then, you know, you're, you know, maybe you should stop. I, a lot of people would stop, but I just think that I'm a slow loser and that's how my body is. And um, I think that when I did do that extended round and the fact that I was a slow loser, and I share, sorry about the sun, the fact that I was a slow loser um, really helped me in stabilizing. I mean, my body really wants to be in the low 120s. So that's the reason why for the past, you know, month and a half or so, or maybe even two months, I have just been um, between 123 and uh, 120.4, which is today. Uh, so um, that brings me to today. Uh, today, um, well, is in my second day with a visit from Tom. So, uh, that 120.4 probably is 119.4, which would match what I was, the, you know, three years ago to the same VLCD day of 113. Um, and I also did my last uh, injection, uh, or at least the last bit that was in this bottle, this morning. And um, I, I know that I cannot have a, a true, accurate LIW. Uh, ending right on Tom. So um, I'm going to crack another vial and do another few more days. And I know this is Groundhog Day. You guys have heard this from me before. Uh, but I'm not, I'm not going to go past my, you know, my record of 119 VLCD days. There's no need to. I know it worked for me before. It doesn't necessarily mean that everything is the same this time. I'm always saying that. But um, I, I just don't think that it would be smart for me to go through all this hard work and then uh, think that I'm going to get a true LIW um, during Tom. So I'm going to extend myself out of the Tom visit and then get my true LIW. And again, I don't expect to be 118. I, you know, I wanted to see the number 118, but truthfully, I don't think that my body wants to be. 118. So, um, you know, I'm fine with being 120 or 123 pounds. That's fine. Not a big deal. But I just want to make sure that I definitely stabilize uh, like I did before. So that is my plan. And um, I know that this is probably bringing some questions in, in some of your heads of, you know, what you don't skip during Tom and you know, and then also, do you skip a day every week, like uh, like it says in protocol? No, have I? Yes, I have. But I find that it's just better uh, just to keep on going. Um, you know, just keep going. Just keep everything on track. So um, I'm not skipping for Tom, and um, I, I'm just going to do a couple of more days get myself out of Tom and you know maybe 120.4 is my LIW I don't know but I'm not ever going to know that unless I uh, carry it out past Tom and then do my last dosage weight so um, so that's my story on that and I just thought you know maybe it would help some of you guys that are going to do your extended rounds um, also being that I did do that long extended round back in 2010, I thought I would also mention to you guys that looking back in, in my notes, I did a lot of my first meals of the day with uh, friendship, 2% uh, whipped cottage cheese, and I weighed it with 100 grams of uh, whipped cottage cheese. And Dr. Simeons does say that you could use, if you're, you know, if you're uh, meat intolerant or vegetarian or whatever, you could, um, you could use cottage cheese. So I did on many of those days, and it really did work good for me. Um, and 
I did have like some amazing losses in the beginning of that round and even you know towards you know in day 80 and all of that but then I would just go on this long bender of just you know day after day after day it being the same weight same weight you know whatever a uh, goose egg <laughs> um, or point two loss and it's the same thing that I'm experiencing this time and I'm okay with that you know I, I really am it's it's not that much of a challenge for me um, once you get into these kind of numbers you just it's like your body numbs out so um, so I guess I only have a few more days and then I will definitely um, vlog my um, P3 transition and um, my stabilization and share with you guys and um, and that's it for my informational vlog uh, I'm pushing up.